Harry Potter, the improvised musical. Everything you're about to hear is completely off the top of our heads, obviously, and we're going to find a way to use all 20 of these words in the musical. And uh, I hope you're excited about entering the world of Harry Potter, the musical. <laughs> A sun sets over horizon. A dragon flies overhead. Another, another swoops behind it. A little boy steps up to the plate at a Quidditch thing. And the sun comes down. It's the big game. The big game that night, that season. My name is Harry Potter. And I'm a wizard I like to drink that juice I do I'm not a part of Ravenclaw Are you? Are you? The camera pans to the left We see a nice beautiful girl with curly hair She's just seen the sunset. She's there to cheer on her friend Harry. My name is Hermione. I'll be honest, I'm not green. I'm much wiser than the other boys. And I don't need to play sports to prove my. I've been squatting, trying to get those glutes. Maybe one day Harry will notice, or maybe Ron Swanson too, or Ron or something. <laughs> that red-headed F, he's my kind of dude, definitely. Oh, Ron, if I squat enough, won't you ever notice me? camera keeps moving. We've heard Hermione's story, we've heard Harry's story, and we see, uh, we see some jerky kid. I don't have a name, I'm just a jerk. I'm part of that part of the school where we like to hurt. We really don't hurt others, do we? No, we're hurting inside, aren't all of we? Our parents sent us to a boarding school for dweebs. I'm the nameless guy. We hear a conversation between Hermione and Harry right before the Quidditch match. Hey, Hermione. Hey. Uh, you know, I gotta say, you're looking good. Oh, thank you. This old thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot our accents. I, when my mind started, I thought, oh, if I try this accent, uh, American accent, she might finally love me. I'm thinking these thoughts to myself, of course. Oh, Harry, you are such a charming fellow. Oh, Ron is really more your type, isn't he? Mm, maybe. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> like, perhaps, perhaps that we're only eight years old. <laughs> I have time. I guess we have our whole lives ahead of us, don't we? Bibbity bobbity boo. I am Harry, but I'm not Harry on my body. I am Harry. Will I ever become somebody? I am Harry. I'm playing Quidditch right now, and now in the game somehow. I'm Harry Potter Happy Potter Get off the match! You guys, get the heck out of here! Well, you know how this match goes! Get off the field! It's time to play Quidditch! You goddamn singing your goddamn theater songs! Get out of here! Now, I want to institute... All right, right now is a good, clean game. All right, I'm the referee, as you can tell from my commanding demeanor. 
and I see Harry over here acting like a real dweeb, like all you dweebs here, freaking dweebs, which you are. Now play the game right and play it fair. Oh, okay. hello, hi. All right. Oh, Hermione. You know, I, I know I always see in gym class, you know, you're always exercising as an eight-year-old really consumed with what the world tells you a woman should be. I mean, maybe you should be learning more about trans rights or something, but I'm wondering uh, if you could just get these kids to just play normal ball. You're friends with them, Hermione. Are you capable of getting them to just play quits the right way? I think I can do it. All right, so just give them a pep talk, would you? All right. Listen up, everyone. The hell is she doing here? I said that. listen up. Oh, okay, listen to her, I listen guess. Listen alamos. Okay. Oh, wow, I'm listening. You've got to play a game of Quidditch. Oh, well. You've got to try your hardest. I'm compelled. And you've got to also try to win. But um, play fairly and take care of yourselves and be careful. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <gasps> I was compelled by your spell I was compelled by your spell Earlier I didn't want to play But now I have in your way I was compelled by your spell My name's Brad And I don't like to play sports I like hanging out with the other kids at Hogwarts I don't want to get dirty, I don't want to have fun I want to read books with no one but me My name is George and I hate Quidditch, I do But every now and then I have a nice sweet tooth Maybe a butter beer or two Maybe I'll suffice to be with you But now that I have heard your spell I'm compelled The chorus sings we were compelled by your spell We were compelled by your spell Being compelled is in hell It's great when it's making you feel well We were compelled by your spells My name is Lisa and I like to be the sports Oh, I can't even speak right I don't obviously don't know how to play sports but now that I'm here next to Hermione, I feel like I can be part of the team. I was compelled by her spell. Yes, I was. Want to sing a verse, Larry? I was compelled by her spell. I thought I was sad, and I might as well try my hardest, give it a go. Now let's put on a show. Let's put on a show today, right now, right now. Let's put on a show today, right now. Let's make everyone go today. Let's put on a show and let's not fall in the well because we will come And they play, played the game. The game was played, and everyone did a great job. Thanks to Hermione. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I've never seen these kids do so well. When they hired me out of New York City, I thought, if I get some kid that, that these kids to learn how to play, maybe these dweebs over here, freaking nerds, <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll finally find some meaning in their life. And it turns out the dweeb, the curly-haired dweeb over here, <laughs> helped them out. Uh, good for her. You know, good game, everyone. Hello? Who's there? Yes? Hello? Oh, oh I'm sorry, it's me, Hagrid. Ha oh, hello, Dumbledore. Uh, hi, it's me, Hagrid. Hi. It's good to see you, Hagrid. I'm Dumbledore. I'm, so I'm sorry. I know I nervously say my name a lot, and you nervously say your name a lot. And honestly, is it just me? Are, are we stressed out about these students? Well, yeah, I mean, educating children that have superpower... And and have cons you know compelling spells. Uh, right. It's a lot. <laughs> Do you know what happened last? Can I tell you what happened last week in my in my class? Do you mind if I just can I? I, I know I just kind of knocked on your door and bothered you, but can I just get right to brass tacks? I'd like to hear what happened. I had a kid 
okay, this kid's name is the one with the blonde hair, all right? The one with the blonde hair, with the, with the green, whatever that class is. The, the wizard? Green. Yeah, he's a kid. Is he he's, a wizard? He's got blonde hair. He's like, he's a real dweeb. He's got blonde hair, and it, it, later in life, his hair might thin a little bit. Draco. His name's Draco Malfoy. I'm oh, sorry, sure. my brain. Sorry. Sure. Yeah. This kid comes in, all right? I think his father's on the board or something. Okay, so you, you, you know, obviously, being Dumbledore, this kid comes in. He has the audacity to wave a wand at me without saying a spell. No, no words, okay? But he was whispering it under his breath. I trip over my legs. I taught him that spell last week, Dumbledore. He wow. used it against his own teacher. Wow. I'm sure you have a story like that. Yeah. I, well, I remember a long time ago, mm. I, uh, I didn't used to have a beard. Uh, Hagrid's beard is, is fabulous. Well, Hagrid's beard is known for being but the best I, beard. My beard was actually uh, quite patchy, but what I've done is I I used a spell to grow a a beard, a better beard. You're telling me your beard is based on a spell you made? Oh yeah. This what do you think thing? my beard would look like if I did a spell? Is well, it possible that my beard could look any better? I don't think we so. We could try. Well, before we get to that, let me just do a quick post. Hey, what's up, Instagram? Uh, if you're looking for beard products, go to beardman.com and uh, make sure you just uh, do 20% discount code with my affiliate link. Thanks. I'm sorry, what was that, Dumbledore? Oh, I was just thinking we could try doing do, doing a, sp uh, you know, a new spell for your beard. Oh, you're saying a spell for Hagrid's beard? Yes. Whoa, did you feel that? Did you feel something in the room just now? Wow. What I, was that? I don't know. I just said... I was thinking a spell for Hagrid's beard. Could it be? It Dumb could be pretty oh. fun. <laughs> could be good. Could be good. Could be classless. I was 13 years old, I had a beard, I'm told I had a beard. When I was 14 or 15, I had a bigger beard. I also had shoulder hair down to my knees. <sighs> I didn't realize Having a beard would make people like me and mostly guys. Most of guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, where's this going? Let me excite <laughs> I like having a beard. I like how it makes me feel, it makes me feel weird. But I wanna know. The spell you gotta do to make my beard, make my beard grow, grow and grow. Dumbledore, tell me, how do I make my beard grow? I need to know, I must know. Here, first, drink this shot of vodka. Oh, God. Whoa, ah, this feels really inappropriate and on a school campus, but I guess it's kind of a boarding school. No one will ever know. Oh, my beard's starting to grow. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it. So, how did you know? I gotta say, Dumbledore, this isn't a spell. There's just a lot of rice that's been compelled by a spell. To just last for six years, it's been fermented, it has. And my beard's growing fast. It's really a nice, shiny glisten, isn't it? I don't know if this is a spell or if it works But I know that you have a great beard too So it's time to grow Time to make my beard grow When my beard grows long enough that referee might notice me Oh, let's make it grow This song, honestly, Dumbledore, I'm so sorry I had a breath, I'm so overweight, as you know, and my beard's just so long, I can't, I'm overwhelmed by how nice my beard looks from this simple shot of vodka. Maybe we should touch beards. Do you think we could? 
We could try. The door closes. Who knows what happens behind it? No one will ever know. Because <laughs> that was just what you call a detour in the tour. Or maybe we'll come back later. And now, suddenly, we go to the top of a mountain. I like to kill kids. And I never fail. Cause I'm the hungry and a horn tail. I like to kill kids, eat them up in a bite or two. I'm the Hungarian horn tail, and who the heck are you? I fly down from the sky, eat them up in one bite. When I fly down, it's nice. I will eat every kid up. What I will do I had one or two or maybe thrice I'm not on Garden Hotel I'm not a rhymer, I'm a, a dragon Give me a break Soup, soup it do I see her my name I can't wait to eat her all the way down to her knees I'm not into feet I'm not into those They don't taste very good gonna fly down and find Harry Potter. I'm gonna eat him up just like butter. I'll slather his butter on Hermione's knees. Yes, please. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And I'll have that nondescript kid too. I know all of those things come out Hungarian corn tail. I can't wait to eat all of those kids. Who's that one down there? It looks like Elijah Wood. I'm just, um, it's, it, uh, you wouldn't eat me, would His you? feet look dirty and disgusting with a lot of hair on them. Ew, stay away from the one who looks like Elijah Wood. Ew. <laughs> Sorry for the detour, guys. To my audience of none. In the sky. This guy, I'm the Hungarian Hotel, yeah, I am. The Hungarian Hotel, oh yeah, I am. Tell you my plans to keep kids the city. I'm the Hungarian Hotel. Can you eat all of those kids tonight? Way the Death Eaters come in. This might be a Death Eater song. They seem hungry too. Oh, is it possible in Harry Potter Land there are multiple people flying to hurt the children of Harry Potter Land, whatever it's called? Oh, it's very possible. Oh no. I wonder what this song's gonna be about. Theaters we are. Mm. We come from Asia, we come from far. Mm. We eat anything in our sight mm. with just one simple bite. <laughs> Death Eaters are people too. We take a shit, we take a poo mm -hmm. And if you knew what it was like To have to take a bite Or wouldn't you? Death Eaters We die
brow Death eaters have to eat We eat death too <laughs> Hey, uh, Rickshaw Ferguson? That's you, my other death eater friend? Oh, it, y- yes. It's me, Larry Choldings. Our other Death Eater seems to be real tired. He's uh, has woken up from his midday slumber. When I see a child roaming in the woods, I know that I must rush to get the goods. So tasty and supple. Hurry on the double. I wear a mask and a hood to keep myself incognito. And if I could eat another child today, that should be neato. Neato's a word we use. When we want to find kids to edibly abuse <laughs> Give me one bite and I'll be happy On Death Eater Night mm. On Death Eater Night Different dimension. We're in America. It's 2020. Movable dough. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. Can't wait to promote my new show on HBO. No one cares. Yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah, get back to him. How was it working as a kid? Hey, Harry. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Harry. Hey, Daniel. How was it working as a kid actor? Oh, well, you know, it's it's pretty fun for me to be an actor as a child and... Obviously, now that I'm grown up... No, we don't want to hear about that. No, no. So, so child acting, great. Let's stay there. I know you're here to promote some new show. So you're a child. Wow. Yeah. I. Uh, to be honest, I didn't always like having to wear the glasses. Oh, God, this is stuff we can work with. Thank you for giving us some good, juicy goods. Okay, your PR person's telling me to talk about... Okay. Shouldn't we talk about my new movie? No, don't, don't, out? don't, don't. I, I swear to God, Daniel Radcliffe, if you if you say one more word that doesn't, if the next word out of your mouth is not Voldemort or Hermione, I, I, I'm going to lose my job. Uh, can I level with you? I'm sorry, I'm being a jerk, Daniel. What's going on with you? You seem distracted. I've been writing for the New York Post, and ever since the late Alan Rickman passed away, who I know you cared about, all they want to hear about is Harry Potter. I, listen, I want to write about your new HBO show. I do. I, I do. It's true. I, 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 I know it's, you know, I'm, I'm officially Harry Potter for the rest of my life, and I know this, and I think I knew it going in. It's a, such a popular story that really captures the hearts of many. Daniel, my name's Bethany, and I'd like to introduce you... <laughs> To me, via song. I hope you're a jazz listener. I'm Bethany. And I don't like my job. I make celebrities talk about things they don't love. It's tough on me, yes it is. It is tough. Can I give you an example, Daniel? Go ahead. Last week I was reviewing The Irishman. Robert De Niro came in. He sat right down where you are right now. He furrowed his brow. 
I said, hey, how is Godfather? One, two, and three. How is Goodfellas and any other sort of Italian movie? He stepped right up. He walked out on me. I wish I had another job. I wish I could do something I love. Like writing about black holes or the sun and how it travels around the universe. But here I'm stuck at the Daily Post. Singing about stupid ghosts And your dumbass book series About some wizard stuff I don't care, wanna write About the sun Write about the sun Dave, have you ever had anything you want to talk about Or write about in your life That you might want to sing about So we can connect right now? Sure Sometimes I like To sit and relax. Oh, me too. But I just can't, and that's the facts. Oh, I hear ya. I'm so busy making all these other movies. Oh, preach. I wish I could lay in bed with four or five boobies. Oh, boobs are so nice. Oh. And so, this is my life. Forever a Harry Potter And never meeting a wife Oh, gotcha Hopefully soon I won't be alone <laughs> Until then I'll just Say Expelliarmus Oh, it works in real life? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe comes into the Harry Potter world. So there's Harry Potter and Hermione and Daniel Radcliffe in the world. He booped himself back into Harry Potter land. Another villain enters. The hogtail, horn tail wasn't enough. The death eaters weren't enough. It's... Yes, I'm Snape. Grape? Grape? I'm not saying that word. <laughs> Pape? Paper. I'm a sniper, and I'm a sniper. I see a hog and a horn tail over there. And I see death eaters coming from near there. Maybe Voldemort's on his way. Maybe Snape's gonna save the day by killing Haley and Hermione tonight. Tonight. I'm Snape and I'm a villain. <laughs> yes, I am. You know how you can tell because of my black hair. It's so dark in the sun. I'll kill all of these kids with the horn tail sound. I'm pretty sure that's no. the plot. I'm pretty sure that's the plot of my life. Please don't murder me. Don't make me take therapy. Don't make me get help. I don't need any help. Don't make me burp this burp beer up. Don't make me do it. Don't make me belch. Belch, belch, belch. Don't even make me. Don't even make me squelch. Don't even make me, make me, make me. Cram into chromaticism. And then Snape. We find out that Snape and Death Eaters and Horntails are all seeking to destroy Harry. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and Hermione and all the kids. No. Not us. Dumbledore and Hag Hagrid come out of the room. Oh man, that was. Are you, fe are you feeling something here? I, I think actually you still have one of my beard hairs in your so beard. I'm embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed by that. Dumbledore, I didn't know that love could be this way. I mean, I guess I've always seen you as a little bit of a classist. I didn't think you'd ever be interested in me. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm willing to try anything twice. 
Based on what we just did, I'd say four or five times. <laughs> you. Just saying. I don't really think we understood anything about beers. My beard didn't grow at all, but boy, am I interested in you. I'll tell you right now. I am interested. May I, may I throw something out there, though? Sure. For me. Yes. When I'm having a nice day, where clearly nothing scary or bad is going to befall any of our students, when I'm just sure. having fun, Yeah. I like to just open up my throat. Okay. You know. I like to open my throat and just uh, let you know uh, something about me that you might not know. I'd you, love I open that? I'd, I'd love to see that. Kids or not, but all the teachers that are men, well, I can't pretend I've wanted to take everyone to get a black green pie. I want to take every guy to get a black bread pie. I want to take everyone to get a black bread pie. And now we're having fun, we're looking it up uh, at the blue clear sky. Oh no! isn't clear anymore. What's up there? Dun, 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 dun. Dumbledore, look at that. We were just having nice coital moments and there was a nice song I was thinking about my favorite preference uh, food-wise. I mean, if you, if you don't look up right now, Dumbledore, what are you seeing? Are you seeing what I'm oh seeing? Oh my gosh. What is that? A Death Eater. What's, oh. what's that? Get down. Oh, okay, oh, sure, uh, but what's that other one? I'll protect you. Oh, okay, sure. Well, oh, God, your eyes must have gone. It's a, it's a horn tail. Oh my gosh. Is that Snape? I couldn't even see it. I thought that was a cloud. Is that, is that Snape riding on a broom? I, he was a bad hire. Well, well shit. What, what, what should we do? We gotta save these kids. Oh no, they're headed towards, they're headed towards the kids' houses. They're headed towards the kids' housing. They're headed towards the kids' housing. They're headed towards the kids' housing. Now they're gonna kill all the kids We gotta protect all the houses Oh, we did Do a spell right now Protect those kids' houses And then they'll never be able to hurt them anyhow Dumbledore, what, what, what potion do you have to help the kids' houses? I'll do a spell That will protect their houses Down to the cell? No, I'll do a spell like post quarterly protect their houses. <laughs> oh, okay, guys, sorry. Ah, they all have sellers. They all are beggars. These stupid kids want to have all our help. But we gotta keep them alive because they're all in 12 years or so. Let's do a spell to protect all the houses. Even the ones that have wells. I hate wells. I want, I want, um, to, to just say on the, the record, my house, Dumbledore, for the teacher housing, I don't want a well. I want plumbing. We have magical spells and potions to help those kids. Oh no, the horn tails are coming near them. The horn tails coming in right now. We're doing a spell, it's like spelly, I'm an ocean, I'm a chow. Look, the horn tail fell. Now the Death Eaters are on their way. I'm doing another spell, it's spelly, I'm a chow. Now the Death Eaters gone. Snape's coming on his way. I'll do a, another spell for him. I'll do Billy up to shoot to He's gone. He's been knocked down. That's I have a final is. spell to do. Well, that's not what I think it is. Well, what's your spell to do? John Leguizamos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, John Leguizamos. <laughs> I'm here. I'll protect the houses. You want me to protect you or what? It's me. I'll protect all the kids' houses. All right. D D Dumbledore, he can't do a shit. He's from the real world. He's, oh, oh, what's that? He gets eaten by a horntail. Another one comes out and eats him in the head. Dumble, Dumbledore. Oops. We're, we're screwed. Harry comes out. What's the problem, everyone? Why did I do that accent? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> ah! What's the problem, everyone? Everything's, oh no, the horntail. You have to get him away. Snipe, get away. It seems like everything's fine. Who what? is that? Who is that behind you, Dumbledore and Hagrid? 
I cannot say his name. It is he who should not be spoken of. I'm only eight at this point. I can't stop him. It's me, Voldemort. <gasps> you, no, no. You can't kill me. You killed the horned tail. You killed Snape. You killed the Death Eaters. But no one can kill me, especially not an eight-year-old Harry Potter. Boom, <laughs> ding, expelliamos Voldemorte. <gasps> Daniel Radcliffe? Well, hi, what? who did you expect? What are you? <laughs> Harry Potter, the musical, and that's how it ends tonight. Everybody, here's some, some butterbeer for, for all the celebrations. And some, what is that, black, black bread pie? Yes, all of the celebrations. Thank you for coming to my musical. My name is Harry Potter. Good night. Harry Potter the Musical, brought to you by Zane and Greg. And we got some gifted subs during it, so I guess you guys had fun. Thank you so much for uh, being here for that musical. That was actually not as hard as I thought. Oh, so, so easy. I love how, how Daniel Radcliffe is...